Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this video is recorded on the Sunday, the 7th of March. And this will be uploaded on Wednesday because um, most likely I will be arriving in uh, Dubai by now. But most likely I will be tired and I will be at the hotel and resting. So instead of doing the live stream at the hotel, um, I decided to upload the video instead so that you can still enjoy my view and analysis. So for those who are, who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a Japanese full-time forex trader in Tokyo, Japan. So today I would like to talk about the Euro Pound which was downtrending as of Sunday. So I will share my view on what we can expect and what happens this week onwards. So before starting here, um, hold on, let me squeeze my face here. All right, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information is basically based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So um, this is my new TradeView account. So you can uh, follow me. This is official. My official TradingView account. This is forexk-official. Is my new account and. Today, I uploaded um, another uh, analysis on this Euro Pound, but let me review what I wrote in February. So let me scroll all the way back to February uh, because I put my analysis over here. So I found it over here. So this was posted on the February 18th, and this is the Euro Pound at that time. So yeah, over here I was expecting the market continue to go down because of these confirmations, because of the the Kumo going down and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen going down and Chikou Span below the candles. And also I mentioned that the uh, the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen in this area, in this red circle area, the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen. So once it goes downwards and be resisted by the Tenkan Sen, and continues to go down this way was, was my view. So let me forward the chart and see what happens afterwards for the proof. So now the market is still bearish but now this is going sideways and let me switch it to the current market with these five lines of Ichimoku. So here is what's happening now. So now the price is above the Tenkan Sen or technically below the Tenkan Sen still but the price is ranging now it's going sideways broke the Tenkan Sen on the 25th February and now it's coming down uh, down the Tenkan Sen as of now on Sunday and I do see that this is still a continuous bearish market because the Kumo is still pointing down and Tenko Span A is down and Kijun Sen is still down and the Tenkan Sen is now flat, but the price is below the Tenkan Sen. So I can see that this bearishness in the market and also Chikou Span below the candles too. So basically that's what I, that's what I wrote today on this latest um, analysis over here. Um, and also um, I would like to mention a few things, uh, basically two more things. So one is the support. Um, so if you can see the candlestick over here, exactly on this 21st February, uh, there was a pin bar. Let me remove this vertical line. So exactly on this day, there was a pin bar. So I can see that there is a support in this week low, which is 0 0.8538 area. There was a support. So. And now that this is bearish, I expect the market breaks this support and continues to go down this way. Or uh, it might be supported and goes backwards and become a yes, descending P wave like this way and it could go downwards still too. And as long as Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen, this is bearish. So I expect the break of the previous support line and that's one. And other one is the forecast line. 
um, as it says over here, um, these two lines, two yellow lines, are called forecast lines. And so basically, you have the Wicklow, and you put the one of the lines to single span A um, at the time of this uh, 24th February, and also another line to single span B. And you have these two lines, and these are called forecast lines. So now the price is in between the forecast line, so that means this is still sideways. So it might be supported by this forecast line and goes up this way too. Uh, but once it breaks the forecast line, then we, we can also expect the market continue to go bearish and break the support level too. So whether the market breaks the forecast lines or not is this week's topic. And once it does, that will be a great sell chance in my opinion um, and also this week low is actually the weekly doji candle let me remove these lines for now and you see the two weeks backwards uh, there was a doji candlestick and now last week was bearish so once it breaks the previous doji which was at this uh, 0 0.85 4 or 3 area, then it could go bearish continuously. And which was a weak low over here. So anyhow, um, this is bearish. On the weekly chart, uh, the Ichimoku line is showing flat. So the Chiko span below the Kumo, below the candles. So this is another sign of the bearishness. But instead of looking at this weekly chart, I would prefer to look at the daily chart and follow the downtrend because I can see more confirmations for the downtrend than the weekly chart. So whether the market breaks the forecast line or to be safer, you want to wait for the previous support breakout and look for the sell chance. And let's see what happens this week or not. So that's my view on this Euro Pound. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press the good button. and. Please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. So tomorrow on Thursday, hopefully I can do the uh, live session. Or before that, uh, if I have uh, enough resource, then uh, I will do the, uh, the live stream on the, from my second channel or this first channel. But uh, on Thursday, until Thursday, I will purchase a external screen and uh, I will do the live stream from hotel so I will see you on the next live stream or the video so until then please stay healthy and stay gold if now matane thank you matane means see you in Japanese so I say matane